Tomorrow is election day, but we all know turnout tends to lag in these off year battles. That's even more reason to make your voice heard because every single count vote counts even more. Many decisions will be made that affect your hometown, your city council, even your family's budget. Paula Tutman live this afternoon with a reminder of what is at stake. And there is a lot, Paula. There really is. It's so interesting that you say off year, Karen, because it's really not an off year. It's an on year anytime we're talking about your municipality. And so I'm in Sterling Heights, but this is not a Sterling Heights issue. This is an everywhere issue. The voting stations are up. The workers are ready. They're loaded for bear. They want to see you. But as you said, historically, uh, during these kinds of elections, a lot of people just leave those important decisions up to their neighbors to make for them. Nadine is 81 years old and she says she has never missed a vote, not a national one or a local one. Let's put it this way, I have grandchildren. I gotta worry about what's gonna happen to them. And so I vote. Thomas is 30 years old and he too realizes that he wants his voice heard and tallied. In Sterling Heights, there are both mayoral and city council races. I'm able, if you're able, you should go out and do it. Yet the city clerk expects fewer than 22% of the 99,000 registered voters in this municipality to bother. Despite how much we try to promote it on our social media sites, on our website, and let people know. Melanie Riska is the city clerk for Sterling Heights. But still, some people don't really realize that there's an election tomorrow. And that's the thing about local elections. Because so few people bother to vote, it means the minority decides the day-to-day -day operations at the ground level that actually govern what happens at your doorstep. It's how your tax money is spent. It's the different programs that are implemented for service to our voters or to any of our residents. Um, so it, it really is impactful on a personal, everyday local level. For many districts, there are no big names to entice you to the polls. It's all about proposals and ballot initiatives that determine how your money is spent, how your trash is picked up, and how many firefighters will be available to answer your emergency call. So for instance, in the city of Dearborn, the Dearborn Programs and Services Millage. So this is a supplemental temporary tax to fund city operations, including police and fire protection. The cost to the average homeowner about $167 per year. In Ann Arbor, there are four ballot proposals that govern everything from how the city contracts are let for big jobs to ranked voting measures, which will change how the person you choose can win or lose, to the expanding the spending powers of an unelected city administrator. Again, these day-to-day -day measures that affect most aspects of your life are being decided by the fewest people who choose to show up to vote. And which is unfortunate, you know, because it's the, the minority of our registered voters are making the determination on how your city is gonna be run. Yeah, so again, there's never an off year because even if you only have one ballot proposal on that ballot, that is something that affects your pocketbook, your household, your dinner table directly. And so it's so important to vote and listen, when you vote, make sure you go to clickondetroit.com tomorrow. We've got a fantastic team, Karen. I know you know that. The way they keep those numbers going almost in real time, and then you can actually see your vote count and how it matters to you. So make sure you stay with us on clickondetroit.com as well, Karen. Good reminder, and I'd love to shout out to Click on Detroit because they work so hard, especially on election day. They do. They really do. All right, thank you, Paula. Yeah, they All right, our coverage does continue on this election eve. New at 5, Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson talking about threats to election workers as well as threats to democracy itself. And then at 6, we cover more of the hot local races that will be decided tomorrow. You definitely don't want to miss that. Still ahead.